hello guys welcome back here you can see i am in dashboard admin dashboard so we have actually designed i mean integrate this template for the admin dashboard right in this video i'm going to create admin middleware and i will show you that how admin middleware will help us so to protect all the admin pace i will actually create admin uh, middleware and uh, why we need admin middleware and how to create admin middleware and uh, how to protect all the pages for the admin uh, in this video i'm going to show all of this okay so let's go in the code editor and here if i go to the resources then views then for the admin let's say i want to create a new file okay so i'm going to name the file as let's say admin file dot blade dot php and here you can see this is the admin file and now i will say that this is admin file let's say and now i will create a route for this so that i can access this so let's go to the web.php and here i'm going to copy it and paste it here and i will actually go here and i will say admin file or let's say i don't want to actually go to the user controller class okay uh, so what can i say is i will actually go for the function here i'm going to give a comma and then function and from the function i will actually uh, return the view from here okay return view and that is admin dot admin file okay here you can see this is admin file so you can see the admin file is inside if i go to the resources then views then here you can see this is inside admin folder right uh, sorry this file let's say we have uh, i mean add information here let's say i want to add uh, food let's say from this space so anyone can access this space here you can see without login although i am logged in here you can see although i am logged in let's say i want to log out okay uh, let's say i want to log out so i'll say log out although i am logged out but still i can access admin file space here you can see so what will happen if somebody can access our page and they can add food items this is not the right way right we should protect the page right admin pages for the normal user and for un uh, i mean for unknown person also right so that time we need middleware here you can see for the login and for the uh, dashboard we have middleware here and we have check auth right authentication okay so what will happen now let's say i'm not logged in right here you can see if i go to the url here you can see i'm not logged in but now if i want to access dashboard it will actually took me to the login page without login it will not let me go in the dashboard right but what about some other pages here you can see admin file i can access it right although the file is inside admin folder here you can see although it's inside admin folder admin file still i can access it so this is the reason why we need middleware so let's create a middleware for the admin okay so what i have to do i'm going to delete uh, the resources i mean i'm going to delete the route at first so let's go to the routes then web.php i don't need this route okay uh, first of all i will actually create a middleware for the admin here you can see in the app there is no such a folder middleware so let's create a middleware first i'm going to go to the terminal new terminal here so i'll say php artisan artisan make colon middleware and i will name it as admin middleware and i will press enter it will create a middleware for us here you can see middleware created successfully so it is inside app http middleware now if i go to the app here you can see we have HTTP folder and then we have now a middleware and that is admin middleware so we have created our uh, first middleware for the admin now we have to add this middleware in the kernel.php but after laravel 11 we don't have actually uh, that um, kernel.php here what you have to do we have to go to the bootstrap then app.php and here you can see we have with middleware here and then what you have to do you have to actually copy this middleware dollar middleware and then you have to paste it here and then you have to say allies or alias actually i don't know 
and here I'm going to create uh, I mean I'm going to give here uh, square brackets okay why because maybe I can have multiple middle well right and after that I will actually close it through semicolon okay and here I'm going to give it a name let's say for the admin I'm going to give it a name and that is admin and I'm going to say here that okay now admin and I know I have created a middleware for the admin and the middleware is inside app then where uh, HTTP then backslash we know we have a uh, middleware for this right yeah middleware middleware and then we have the middleware name admin middleware but we have to use here colon colon then class then we have to use a comma that's it now let's say we'll create another middleware for the let's say for another uh, admin uh, i mean user or any other user type so that time also we have to use it like this let's say i will copy it and i will paste it once again and i will name it as let's say a second that's it so how many middleware you have created you just have to add them here because uh, now we don't have the kernel.php right so we have to come here in the bootstrap then app.php all right so we have actually created middleware and we have added uh, the middleware name as admin all right now we will check the admin authentication every single time okay but at first we have to actually go to the middleware then admin middleware and here we have to give a condition we will say that here you can see uh it just uh return the next request i mean we can actually go for the uh, all other admin pages but we want to actually check here something that is the reason actually why we uh, create admin middleware right so the reason is we will check that the user is authenticated i mean you have to log in at first and then also you have to have uh, a type of admin you have to be an admin right okay so here i'm going to say if i'm going to say auth colon colon check so this is the function for auth to check the authenticated user i mean the user is authenticated or not who actually try to access the url okay here you can see we have uh, got an error here so what i have to do we have to use auth i mean we have to import auth here so what i have to say use illuminate and auth and before that we have to use here support then backslash facets that's it now we can use auth check so we'll actually checking that authenticated or not and i will actually give here another condition and the user need to be admin okay so we will say that auth colon colon user uh, and we have to use here the class and then we will say user type why because uh, if i go to the database localhost slash php my admin here you can see we have user type here admin right and column name is user type so I'm, I'm going to actually mention this column name here so let's go and here i'm going to say user type is equal to admin or not so i'll say admin if admin then we'll actually let them go to the admin all the pages so i'm going to actually cut it from here and paste it here okay if you are admin and you have to actually logged in then you can actually go for the next request otherwise you will actually go for what let's say we have a function and that is abort and here we have a 403 403 and then we will actually pass here another message and that is that will be let's say unauthorized unauthor sorry a u t h o r i s e d right unauthorized access we will actually uh, send him uh, to the page of laravel and we will say that unauthorized access okay so now we have to go to the middleware uh, sorry so we have checked that the user is logged in and also the user is admin or not if you are logged in and if you are not admin it will not work because here we have set and condition right okay so and condition uh, means you uh, i mean both side the left one and the right one need to be true okay so uh, now we will go to the routes so let's go to the routes and web.php and here we need to add the middleware right okay now i want to actually go here and I'm, i want to say that okay and it will be let's say admin file okay then we'll actually go here a function and let's say the function name will be uh, go go file let's say just 
to test so we'll go to the app http controllers user controllers and here we'll create a function let's say and from here we will actually send him to our uh, admin dot admin file view okay and uh, this is the so we have actually mentioned here go file right okay go file that's it done but the problem is we haven't actually checked the authentication process here uh, so what i have to do we have to actually say here that uh, middleware we have to call the middleware and we know for the authentication so auth and it should be uh, then we'll actually pass here another parameter and the parameter will be admin at first we have to actually check the auth also and then also admin uh, middleware also i mean they need to be admin right so it will actually go to the admin middleware and check this and then it will actually if it is working perfectly right then it will actually go for the next request here you can see so we have a get route admin file user controller go file middleware auth and admin okay okay now let's check go here so here you can see this is the same url currently i can access it but if i go for it here you can see it actually uh, sh uh i mean send me to the login page i mean i mean i have to log in uh first right now let's say i want to log in as normal user if i log in as normal user uh, and then i can actually i will check that i can actually access it or not okay uh, so let's log in and now here you can see still i cannot access it why because uh i am logged in but i'm not admin right here you can see now our file is if I go to their views, here you can see our admin. Uh, if I create any file inside admin, and then if I check the middleware, if I check the middleware, um, okay, then no one actually can go there without the admin access. Here you can see unauthorized access. Now, what about admin? So let's go and log in as admin. And now let's say login as admin. Yummy, yeah, right? Okay, login. Now we'll go to the dashboard. Okay, so now currently I'm an admin. Now let's say I want to go to uh, admin file. Okay, now I can go there because currently I'm I'm an admin, right? Okay. So this is why we need middleware, and we have created admin middleware for the admin. And in our next video, I will show you how admin can add or insert data uh, into the database. I mean, let's say one, uh, admin want to add food, right, for the restaurant. So how admin can add food for the restaurant, we'll show you in the next video. So thank you so much for watching.